Good morning. So it's uh, September the 30th. Uh, here at Starbucks, and there's a fine grind going on here. It's a dark roast, dark roast with a uh, shop, grande. And so this week I'm trying to decide on two books to read. One of them might be. You help me decide which one to start first. The uh, number one lady detective agency by Alexander McCall Smith. Or, and I did start reading it just a little bit. But, or this new book, Lose It. Um, I have the app on my iPhone, but uh, it was a. I had used it last year some to to uh, to good effect, and I saw. Nancy Gillen posted a video about from CNN about this guy who used it for one year and lost like 70 pounds. So it kind of reinvigorated me to maybe give that a try, but also to read the book that goes along with it. Those are the two things that I'm trying to kind of think about which book I should start reading first. So if you don't mind leaving a comment and sharing your thoughts, that'd be cool. Last night's OSU game was a heartbreaker against Texas. I don't think that one football went in. The Texas football went in. I don't think that was a touchdown, but well, it was a heartbreaker. Um, let's see what else? <laughs> That's about it. So let me know what you think about the books and uh, what you think about the OSU game. Uh, leave comments. And I'm shooting this here in Starbucks, here in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Oh yeah, that's something I could talk about. The uh, Foursquare check-in this morning it says I've been here 150, 152 times, and in three more check-ins, I hit some kind of mile marker that Foursquare builds into the system. So that's kind of cool. So we'll have to see what happens after three check-ins. Um, Foursquare is really great, I think, for helping people uh, quantify their visits to retail shops uh, like Starbucks or restaurants. And uh, if you're OCD like me, then you kind of like to uh, collect things and uh, mark them off the list and go for whole numbers like 50, 100. I noticed this last week that Foursquare lets you also make reservations. Um, they they partnered with Open Spoon or bought Open Spoon. I'm not quite sure about that, but, or Open Table. And uh, so now you can make reservations through Foursquare. So just another reason to for restaurants to take a look at using Foursquare and increasing traffic and increasing brand awareness for, for their business. When someone checks in to, let's say, a Starbucks here and they, they check in, they can let all their friends and friends on Twitter and Facebook know that they are at Starbucks. And so this is a great way for Starbucks to get brand recognition for free. Um, they also have this little mayor set up, as you all probably already know, where the person with the most check-ins is the mayor. And some restaurants, none around here that I know of, uh, some, some restaurants give mayoral specials to those who are the mayor, uh, number one, to keep that person coming back, but number two, to encourage that person to promote the restaurant, promote uh, their mayoral status, and so it's a win-win for the person getting a little free something, and the restaurant wins by getting free publicity uh, to their that person's sphere of influence. So it's pretty powerful stuff. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, a restaurant really maximize, really maximize the offerings that Foursquare has and, and see what kind of a difference it can make in, in traffic and in revenue. Anyway, that's it for today. This is Sunday, September the 30th, Starbucks. Have a great day. Leave comments down below and talk to you later.